Hey Photoshop gurus, this video is to teach you about the stamp visible layer. This is a very cool feature that Photoshop offers us and let me tell you how we or, or the reason we use it. We use a stamp visible layer so once you have spent hours and hours of creating your masterpiece and you have fonts in there, maybe you're using a really cool decorative font you know what? I probably don't have that. So when you send me your file, I don't see the really cool factor of your design. I see a plain boring Jane design with probably text somewhat similar to what I'm using here. Just, you know, it's just, a, of course this is a sans serif, but uh, it's not got the oomph that your design has got. So I need to see what you really truly did. And the easiest way to do that is through a stamp visible layer. Now, you can create a JPEG of your image and send that to me if you want to do that. And that way I can see exactly what it is that you know you're, you have done. But if you send me a PSD file, Photoshop file, then your fonts are not going to translate correctly on my computer. Okay? So, even with a JPEG, there could be some font problems. So the the best 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 way to do this is just do a stamp visible layer and what that does is it creates as you see i've already done one over here it creates a layer above all your other layers that flattens it okay it's it's took all the information from all these layers below and it's flattened that into one layer so when i get your psd file I can actually click on that layer to see what it was supposed to look like. Then I can also click off from it and look at your other layer information to make sure that you did everything correctly on those layers. Hopefully that will help you understand why I'm asking you to do stamp visible layers. Now let me show you again how it's done. Since I've already created one here, uh, I'm just going to bring my window up here a little bit. I'm using a trackpad so it takes me second okay there we go and I'm just going to throw that away yes I want to delete it now um, I'm just going to the shortcut key for Windows is shift control alt E you got to hold all four of them together at the same time okay <clears throat> if you're using a Mac it's shift command option E again you got to hold all four of them at the same time Another way to do it, if you don't have uh, the dexterity to do four buttons at once, and I totally understand if you don't, uh, hold down for Windows, you would hold down your Alt key and choose Layer, Merge Visible. And for a Mac, you would hold down your Option key and choose Layer, Merge Visible. So we're going to do it both ways here. The first way, I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to go Shift, Command, Option E. Right, Shift, Command option and E. There we go. Popped right up there. Actually I did that twice didn't I? <laughs> okay and then I'm going to do it another way <clears throat> and I'm going to go on the Mac I'm going to choose option and then I'm going to go up here in my pull down menu and I'm going to go merge visible. Okay and that created a stamp visible layer as well. Now you can see that I have the stamp visible layers and but I still have my regular layers here and so should you if that's not working on yours make sure that you're holding down the correct keys again that is for a PC shift control alt E okay on a Mac it's shift command option E and you can also hold down alt for Windows or option for a Mac and go to layer merge visible whichever way you think is easier all right hope this helps let me know if you have questions thanks